What's going on, guys? Your boy Turn by Reacts here, and I am back with another Hunter Hunter reaction. This one is going to be a bit of a surprise, but we are here. Um, making sure my face. I don't know what the hell is going on right there. <laughs> Anyways, um, Hunter Hunter. This one is going to be a bit of a surprise for you guys. Um, you know, I just I'm loving the series so much, and I say, you know what? I got a couple of extra extra hours to burn so i said let me try and get some episodes in um for the weekend um so i hope you guys enjoy this we all know what's going on man gun and Killua is kind of in a bit of a problem right now facing shoot and knuckle right um we also have what's, what's still going on in ngl um with morel knov and Netero, of course, their their plan is going accordingly, but the king is about to drop. The king is about to be born. All three king's guard are born right now. We got Yupi, Sharpoof. I can't remember. Is Metatena Metatena Yupi right? <laughs> Something like that. So we got Yupi. We got Sharp Sharpoof and. Never Pito. <laughs> right. So um I'm trying to be good with the names. Um so yeah, I'm pat myself on the back for that one. Anyway, so we got those people going on. We just got off introduced to a new character, which is Palm. I like her character. She's is a funny character, but at the same time she seems serious as hell. Looks like she will kill everybody just to go fight with her with her teacher right and go to ngl which um she's a dope character i like her character would love to know it, it seems like she can tell the future or something or, or or something of the sort it seems like she can tell seems like her nen has something to do with um her nen ability has kind of have the same ability like that girl from um from kurapika's arc the um the york new city arc um, the girl that could tell fortunes and stuff seems like she have some sort of something close to that or something of the sort so um, We got to see Bisky again. That was pretty cool. She trained them got them up to be able to to um, to stay in I think it's Ren they, they're able to do that for for three hours straight now and to maintain it without fatigue really so that's pretty cool. With ease, they could do that now. And she did that, get them up to that in the space of a month. That's pretty dope. She she really is, at this moment, I think she is the best teacher for them. Hopefully, in, la in later on, she gets to come back and train them again. If so, I mean, we're like uh, um, 50 episodes away from the end. I think it's like 150-something episode. I'm not sure. I haven't... Um, I think I checked at the beginning when I was starting how many episodes it was. Um, so I think it's somewhere around there, somewhere around 150 or something like that. So we're very close. Well, not close, close, but, um, but as I said, I would love to see her come back and train them again. I think she's the best teacher at this moment for both of them because they have, they have great chemistry um, she's a better, in my opinion, she's a better teacher for them than Wing, because Wing was kind of subtle, easy. You get what I'm saying? He's good, but um, Wing is one of her students, so I think she's at this point like she is good, and she gives them life lessons also. Like the situation when she was discussing with Killua is very true. This is absolutely true. That I believe that if he continues down this road, he might end up leaving Gone to Die because he runs away from situations a lot. Um, and and it has to go. As I said, I still I'm not a hundred percent if his brother actually put some court spell or something on him, like a Nen spell or something. Is he? You know what I'm saying? Did he leave a small needle inside Killua that he keeps using to control him or something like that? I don't know. I don't want to go that route. I would rather 
say that it's because of his training, how he was brought up as an assassin. You know what I'm saying? Like the way how he is, like if you're going to be trained as an, an assassin, you have to understand that when situations are too tough, you need to take a step back and re reevaluate. And, and I more want to think that direction than the other direction, which is with his brother, which I believe that it is a possibility that his brother actually did something to him to make him this afraid and not, you know, go head first into his, you know, into battles, knowing even if the, per even if you know the, um, the opponent is stronger than you, you still got to go, man. You still got to figure it out as you go. You can't try to run away from every situation that you believe somebody is stronger than you. And this goes for life in general. Like if you know some, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if a job is too, is too big, you know, they always, you know, people who are, who are mentors, you know what I'm saying? They always tell you, listen, if your boss comes to you and tell you, um, they want this done and you feel like that is too much for you, it's not for you to, to really say, if you want to advance, you got to look at him and be like, I'll handle it. Don't worry about it. Figure it out figure it out, ask somebody, ask questions, you, you get what I'm saying, so you got to go head first into it, so I believe this could give him a very good one, and I think he's going to overcome it, and I'm waiting to see him do that, because I really don't want to see their friendship break up because of something like that, even though I believe that gun won't really allow it, so we're going to jump into these episodes, man, episode 91, hopefully, depending on how things go i might not be able to do five today but we'll see how things go maybe some more time will free up for me just in case because i do have something planned for later in this evening so because i have this time before i go get ready to go do that it's not a hundred percent of the thing i'm going to do but let's go do this let's go watch these episodes man you might not get five just have that in mind have that in mind. If you do get five, then you do get five. But just have that in mind. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. As always, remember to subscribe. Always 50 likes we're going for on this one. You guys have been really, really going above and beyond. There's some new, new amount of, I was averaging around 300 views per upload. Now it's about 500 views per upload. Like, I'm talking about like in the first, like, maybe like 48 hours. Um, I usually evaluate my views by so on average over the first 48 hours of the video being uploaded i usually have around 300 views um but for like the last i want to say since we started this arc um it's been it's been going up consistently so just something for you guys to know 50 likes on this one of course leave a comment make sure you come back if after you watch the episodes, come back, watch watch the review, give me your thoughts on what you think. Um, keep hyping, keep hyping it up, keep keep the comment section alive. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so here we are, man. Um, not much really to expound upon. Um, I'm not going to take too long on this review here because I, I actually have to go and do something right now. Um, so let's talk about it, man. Um, things that happen in these seven, seven episodes, man, from the birth of Meruem, oh, man, I hopefully I can remember this name going forward. Meruem being born the king, the savageness in episode 91 was, it's, it's. It it's wor it's it was as dark as when I think the girl with the bees, I think her name is Ponzu. It was it was surprising because I didn't expect the king to be born and be so like not give a shit about his own people. Like his you know what I'm saying? They've been feeding your moms all this time for you to be born, then you come out and be like, Yo, pick did, was I talking to you? Was I talking to you? I never said you to clean off it, clean this sh shit off. Where you going? You know what I'm saying? 
That man don't give a shit about rank. I tell you to do something, you do it. He's he, he's he's crazy. He's crazy. And then his power is he, he can consume other people's aura and make it his own. This is crazy. This is nuts. They've gone on to the to the palace, took over the palace. Now they have some plans to to um they use the 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 um the leader, the supreme leader over there to to lure in all these people from from the region to come to the to the palace or or whatever, not knowing that they're all just going to be f processed for food. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is this this is gonna be. I mean, this what seven episodes so interesting, man. So interesting. I'm glad that Killua is back to his normal self, um, the fun loving person um, that we fell in love with in the beginning. Like not afraid of anything. Hands in his pocket, tearing hearts out. That's the killer what that we want back. He's had some savage moments, you know, since then. I did not expect him to kill Ramut like that. I thought it was going to be a fight. Like, he killed Ramut like it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how it's supposed to be, man. You're, you're an assassin. You enter the battle without fear, man, no matter what. Especially if it's a confrontation. Like, you running away from confrontations... Is not the type of person I want Killua to be. In that sense, I would love for him to be more like Gun. Um, face your problems head on. Yeah, you can be angry. Yeah, you can lose control. Um, but you know, even in the midst of battle, Gun is always thinking. You know, figuring stuff out while he is fighting. That's the way you do it. You know what I'm saying? Strategy. You know, sometimes, yes, you might be overwhelmed and you have to back up from the fight. But at the end of the day, you can say you tried, right? You tried, isn't, you know, so that's how I see that. Yeah. The situation with the Phantom Troop. Now, the Phantom Troop is my favorite group, I have to say. They're way more intriguing than the Akatsuki. If I'm going to compare them to a group, a villainous group, way more interesting. Like the Akatsuki stayed, they stayed evil to the end, assholes to the end. But the Phantom Troop has, they've got a beautiful arc in Hunter Hunter, in my opinion, as in understanding. Uh, the, the truth of it all, like they're true warriors at heart and knowing where they came from. Yes, they're thieves. You get what I'm saying? And they've done some really crazy, like, dark stuff in the York New City arc. But I don't want to say it, it was warranted. It was more it, it was more of, like, setting them up to be the villains of that arc. But since then, they've really grown on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, from the conversation that I think it was, was it Phaeton? I think it was Phaeton. And I still don't know that blonde dude's here. The one that has the power to wind his fist up. Can never remember his name but him and 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 Phaeton had that conversation with I think it was Gun and Killua in that hallway you know what I'm saying where you know they really saw um what's her names can't even it's been so long um her name starts with a P I know it starts with a P I can't remember her name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. The one with the nan bullets, right? So once they understood how she was feeling about the situation, then, you know, then she was, then they understood and they've come around, you know? So they they had, they went back home to take care of the, the um, Zazan, like built a kingdom over there, uh, you know, a nest. I was taking over Meteor City, was turning humans into these monsters, you know, transforming them. Um, and she had to, you know what I'm saying? They had to go in there and take care of business. And man, did they take care of business. Finally got to see um, the dude with the holes in his bodies. Like, that was dope ability. Um, I was wondering how they were going to explain this. If they were going to be like, oh, he's, he's a, 
you know, a different species, but he's actually human. They just pierce their skins with whatever and make these holes so they can make sounds when they dance and they fight, you know, with the power of sound. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff, man. Um, then we have um, Phaeton was the most surprising out of them. Um, the dude, the blonde dude that can wind his arm up, that power didn't surprise me as much. It's a dope power. Can't imagine, you know, no, what is there a limit on how many times he can actually wind his arm up? You know what I'm saying? Um, Shalnok's power was actually surprising too. To be honest, you know what I'm saying? He went basically Super Saiyan, but it's like him and Phaeton ability, it seems like it's all or nothing. Seems like their ability is all or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like when they go full surprise. You know what I'm saying? Like Shalnok's ability when he when he pierces himself with the dart or whatever. I remember what he called it. The same whatever whatever it is. Right? He pierced himself with so he, he basically kind of released all of his aura. Cause he doesn't even remember anything when that happens. He he does he comes back to normal and realize oh everything is dead okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying so he must have created that that power for very dire situations so um phaeton's power as i said is the most interesting one out of all of them basically summoning the power of the sun we got that other dude with the holes in his body summoning the freaking jupiter and then he comes and 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 basically using the power of the sun to basically melt zazan in the cave right <laughs> that's nuts that is nuts but as crazy as it sounds we are talking about hunter hunter and these crazy nen abilities like nothing is out of the scope of possibility so it's just it's just awesome it's just awesome to watch. It's awesome to see. There were some really dark, surprising moments for these seven episodes. It kind of mellowed out, out at the end. I mean, I almost teared up in that scene with Gun and Kite. I almost teared up at that scene. So now we kind of understand what Neferpito's power is, which is to control control people. Because he's doing the same thing to the Supreme... She's doing the same thing to the Supreme Leader as she's doing to Kite. Um... But Gun is pissed off. That scene with him and Morel. As Morel, you don't you don't want to stand there and take a punch from Gun. I mean, he was so mad to the point. You know, he said, you know, I was really about to kill you. You know what I'm saying? And I can imagine if if Jing is, you know what I'm saying? He's regarded as a three-star hunter right which is a very few amount of people have that honor of being a three-star hunter right and he's the son of that dude so no wonder when people hear that he's the son of jing why they they just light up you know what i'm saying because they're like oh this that nigga <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's crazy man it's cool it's so awesome to watch this series with y'all man I love all the, the the comments and stuff like that that you guys have been leaving. Um, thank you guys so much for watching as always. So just in, glad you enjoyed the reactions and whatever. Just remember to like, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, there's more to come. There's so much awesome stuff to come. I'm finishing up so many series right now. And I want to just jump into everything fresh by next week. So I'm going to finish up some other stuff this weekend um by tomorrow and monday and then we're gonna jump into some new stuff by the end of next week hopefully so thank you guys for tuning in once again remember to comment and also remember your terror squad i am mr Terabyte reacts and i will see you guys next time on hunter hunter